Hey everyone, welcome to another objective review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Filtron. Filtron by Deio is a new photo editing app based on the concept of shareable and stackable filters. Starting up the app and you can create your own filters to use within the app or start editing your photos. In the creating mode, you can pick up various editing filters and create a stack, effectively creating a photo filter. One thing I've noticed when you first start the app and to change the setting you slide around, it takes a bit for the effect to actually apply on the photo, so please take note of that delay. I'm using a 6S to test and record this video, so as you can tell the delay is very noticeable. But all the subsequent runs do not present this issue at all or if you bring the app back from the background, everything j is just very, very snappy and things change as you move the sliders around. The color filter is particularly notable as it allows you to set one of the various available color blending modes. I've yearned for this kind of granularity for quite some time. The color picker for the color control will also present you with a nice surprise. While you can set the hue, saturation and brightness for the color, you can also pick the alpha. Now the alpha channel is basically how transparent the color is and this is something I have not seen in any other app before. Overall, you have 8 controls you can tweak to create your own filter. These controls are also sortable. Sorting them creates different effects due to the order in which they are applied on the photograph. To do this, you simply long press and then drag around until you are satisfied with the final result. While you are dragging a control, you can also drag it towards the top left to delete it or towards the top right to create a new copy of it. In the editing mode, you'll first pick the photo and then go on to add filters to your photo. Filtron also gives you a slider which you can slide to the left and right and see how it affects your photo before you apply it. One thing to note is that the app currently doesn't support swipe to go back gesture. This is, a, this is a rather odd choice since I found myself doing that several times. Once you've applied a filter, tap on the back button to go back to the editing screen. Once on this screen, you can tap on the filter you just added to set its intensity. If you add another filter to the stack, you can rearrange them the same way you rearrange the controls in the creating mode. Once again, the order drastically affects the final image. So play around and tweak it till you're satisfied with the end result. When you first launch the app and you tap on the create icon, you'll be created with a page. Unlocking the in-app purchase will allow you to sign up. I didn't get a chance to record the sign up process, but it's pretty straightforward. And once you've done that, you'll be able to create your own fit. The profile section is yet again very straightforward. You can add links to various social profiles and change your password if you are required to do that. Tapping on the profile picture will allow you to change it. With a $3 in-app purchase, Filtron becomes a very powerful app. Even if you are not one of the sharing types, the amount of control the app gives you over how the filters are applied is really great. My only wish would be to allow tweaking others filters as well. If you are a photographer, amateur or professional, 
I highly recommend you grab this app. As always, if you dislike this review, you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit that like button, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. I'll see you next time. Cheers.